At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce our first presentation. How has the mobile evolution influenced other industries? Mr. Takeshi Yashimoto of Toshiba Corporation. Takeshi Yashimoto joined Toshiba in 1986, an expert in SOC solutions for telecommunications. He was instrumental in driving various MIPI initiatives during his tenure as Vice President of Toshiba Electronics Europe. Currently, he is head of the technical marketing division. He oversees all technology marketing for Toshiba Semiconductors worldwide. Please welcome Takeshi Yashimoto. Thank you, Ray. Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay. I'd like to show a short video first. This is a replica of a mechanical door called a tea serving door. It carries a cup of tea to the guest, wait, and take it away on behalf of the host, which was invented around 200 years ago. One person, Hisashige Tanaka, was a famous inventor in Edo era, almost 200 years ago. Now he created many mechanical things known as karakuri, such as these dolls. Before he went on to establish Toshiba 140 years ago, these dolls are quite amazing. Realized simply by combination of wooden gears and coil springs without any brain or no sensors. But they can do certain tasks such as serving green tea with remarkable autonomy without any human intervention. Let's see how our life is evolving cutting, cooking, cleaning. So they are physical tasks. But uh, they become much easier by using tools, like a uh, saw or brooms. Now, many automatic tools are available. They can do specific tasks automatically, just only by pressing start button. We can imagine a future where robots work hard to perform everything. I believe the ultimate goal of the technical revolution is to realize such robots that can do everything for us instead of us. To realize such an autonomous robot, so we studied about ourselves, the human body. We have sensors, so-called five senses, including eyesight and hearing, brain, nerve network, and muscles. Engineers are inventing equivalent functions of them. Image sensor for the eye, microphone for the ear, CPU for the brain, network circuitry for numb network and actuator for muscles. By the way, mobile devices is the main field of the MIBI technologies. Mobile processor is in the center of the system, and memory and peripherals, including sensor on displays, are connected by MIPI interfaces. MIPI is uh, playing a key role as nervous system of mobile devices. Electronic components for mobile devices are evolving so rapidly. The marketplace is so big comp comparing with others. 
So provider can afford to really invest so to develop leading external technologies. So mobile processors, memories, image sensors, and displays are a good example. I'd like to show how mobile devices evolved over time by these technologies. Mobile phone, only for talking, was transformed to smartphone, equipped with PC function. And having more computing power and more sensors, they can perceive many things. For example, what the user is doing. Now, they are capable to performing physical tasks autonomously by using actuators, by more computing power, including deep learning technologies. In other words, they are robots. Component, so with such leading edge technologies, especially for low power consumption or small form factors, are being used in wearable and IoT. Key components for mobile devices, features such as advanced technology. Now, they are expanding the application field beyond mobile. Today's topic. Automotive, robotics, wearable, smartphone, smart watches, even industries to form IoT, IOE world. Virtual reality is in the spotlight now. Head-mount display requires high resolution imaging and high speed data connection with content servers. Display with such a high resolution and small form factors is available only in smartphone market. So its interface is of course MIPI DSI. On the other hand, content server side, like a PC or multimedia equipment, using different interface, such as display port. So it means they cannot be connected directly. So a bridge to combat display port to MIPI DSI is required. So to connect those two different worlds. This is camera case. Camera for mobile devices available with very high resolution and low cost due to very hard competition in the market, especially in the smartphone market. Now, they are expanding its publication field into automotive or infrastructures and others. But again, camera with MIPI CSI needs a bridge so to work in new world where different interfaces are used. Toshiba is strongly supporting those MIPI devices expansion of application field beyond mobile by interface bridge product. This is a snapshot of our product lineup for bridges. So there are many. This is very good business for Toshiba and we would like to continue entering this market. But as a promoter of the MIPI Alliance, so we need to review this station. Everywhere some bridges are necessary. That is somehow redundant. Mobile processor is also expanding their prescription field beyond the mobile. Automotive, robotics, wearable, smart watches, 
smart home. Because this market requires strongly both lower consumption and high performance computing simultaneously. Today, I like to focus on automobile as one of the target application for Beyond Mobile. Mobile devices is a major application for NAND flash memory, which is a main product of Toshiba. And its interface is migrating from EMMC so to UFS, standards by JREC. As you know, origin of UFS is MIPI-M5 and Uniprove. Now, mobile processor is expanding into automotive place. Uf UFS memory are being used together with the processors as a standard memory design, but again, mobile processors are facing difficulties in connection with other components in the system, same as other applications. Here is a history of how the automotive concept appeared and developed over time. This is a primitive man, so needed speed so to survive. Getting food by hunting or running away from enemies. But uh, running was not enough. So they came up with an idea so to use horses but uh, they are continuously seeking for ways to get more speed. Finally, in 20th centuries, they achieved the speed by automobile. Here is a common chart showing how long distance are required to, for an automotive to stop. The distance consists of two factors. The blue portion is called thinking distance, which is a time for a driver so to recognize some risk to decide to stop. If driver is inattentive, the distance will be big, very dangerous situation. And orange portion is physical distance so needed to stop after hitting the brake pedal. But again, it depends on many conditions, such as so road surface and weather or performance of braking. According to previous chart, more than 30 meters require to stop when driving at 50 kilometer per hour. If the driver suddenly recognized a car standing still 30 meters ahead, what happened is he cannot avoid collision, unfortunately. It takes around one second so to react and decide to stop, hit the brake pedal, but the car will continue to run almost halfway of the total stopping distance in the meantime. Automobile gives us enough speed, but the speed is beyond control of human. But technology helps us. AEB, or automatic emergency brake, is now getting popular, as also mentioned in the keynote. The AV system is always watching ahead. And when it recognizes some obstacle, it can control the brake system more than 10 times faster than human drivers. 
It's quite important things. Car makers are competing to develop self-driving technologies, as you know well. Conventional car is just a transportation tool, so means fully driven by human. It is categorized as level zero by industry. As mentioned, AEB has some autonomy to control brake, but only in emergency cases. That is level one or two. Now car makers are trying next level, which is autopilot. Driving autonomously, but under limited condition. And driver should be responsible fully for the driving and they have to take over the driving in any cases. The final goal is a fully autonomous, where passengers can forget about driving. Toshiba has a vision processing technology called uh, Visconti, so which can recognize so car, lane, and traffic sign or signals, pedestrians, instantly, simultaneously, and constantly. It is physically impossible so for human so to multitask that level. And this technology already been used in commercial cars to assist drivers. When looking inside the advanced driving assistance system, ADAS, so many devices with MIPI interface are going to be used, such as image sensors, processors, and memories, and so on. But the traditional automotive interface, such as CAN or others, are used in the system. So many bridges are required to connect with MIPI devices, same as other applications. When considering so MIPI beyond mobile, so let's assume so we are targeting automotive. And I listed up key factors required for automotive system. Various data from sensors or processors are transferred and shared. It requires not only interface for one-to-one -one connection, but also interconnect network functionalities, so to interconnect with all devices. According to size of automotive, automobile, long distance communication between devices also might be required. Various devices with different interface and protocols are connected. Means interoperability to manage those differences efficiently is crucial. And hot plug has not been applied to automotive press yet, but uh, I believe it will be soon necessary. Response time is a very critical issue, most critical issues for, especially for uh, automotive safety system. The system may cause collision or accident if the system cannot guarantee the response time. In automotive, now you know, TSN, so time sensitive network, is uh, considered.
robustness is also very important. When, so we decide to rely on autonomy of the system. The system must work properly even under very severe conditions. Functional safety. That is a standard by an ISO 26262 that protects mechanism against device failures is a mandatory, especially for automotive component relating to safety. Robustness against noise also critical. And operation in wide temperature range is also important and sort of basic requirement for automotive system. Security, protecting the system from the hacking is becoming very critical, particularly in IOE world, where everything is connected to each other. So, they are key requirement for the automotive system, but many of those requirements are common for other, in, other applications. MIPI is a very strong technology asset, and many MIPI devices and components are already been used in various applications. But I show today, interface bridges are required in those applications. Bridges, it's a redundant element of the system, I have to say. We need to consider how we can provide optimal solution by MIPI technologies. I believe our final goal is to realize such an autonomous robot that can do everything for us instead of us. And the final goal of MIPI technology is to support all of interface and networks for realizing this system as optimal solution without any breaches. All right, thank you very much for attention, and I look forward to meeting you at uh, our exhibit stand in the ground floor. All right, have a good day. Thank you very much. I need to say, any question? Yep, right. any questions? <laughs> All right then. Thank you very much.